This video has been sponsored by EveryPlate. Mochi is a delicious Japanese rice cake that has taken the internet by storm. And yet somehow, throughout all the years of this channel, we have never made traditional, authentic stuff. But that changes today, because we are diving into the wonderful world of mochi, starting with the two ingredient mango mochi from Senyai Grubs. Following that up with Joshua Weissman's four ingredient ice cream mochi, and then finishing everything off with this absolutely delicious and adorable looking peach mochi from Miss She and Mr. He. I think I already know which one I'm most excited for today, but leave a comment right now with which you think is gonna come out best, and let's get right into this one. Mochi also seems like the perfect placeholder if you have a weird interest in biting foods that are inedible, such as eraser slimes or silly putty, which is definitely not me, by the way. There's just some weirdos out there that have said that. But before I can accidentally admit more subconscious thoughts, we gotta give a shout out to my friends over at Every Plate. If you are like me and you love the concept and convenience of a meal kit, but you don't love the assumed high price points, allow me to introduce you to Every Plate and turn all those assumptions on their head. At an average of 25% cheaper than grocery shopping, Every Plate is the perfect alternative for your weekday family meals. They send you quality ingredients that come pre portioned to help save you time, money, and reduce food waste. Kind of like those moldy bananas or the half bag of spinach that you throw out at the end of every week. Especially as the summer begins to wind down and your schedule starts to get busy, set yourself up for success with Every Plate, the ultimate time and money saving hack. And I think my favorite parts of Every Plate are the constantly changing meals and the ability to customize each meal. You can choose between 18 different recipes that change every single week, swap proteins and add sides to your liking. We are talking about a cheaper and more delicious meal kit option that I can never get bored of. So please do yourselves a favor by clicking the link in the top line of the description, going to everyplate.com using code Seymour149 to get your first box for just $1.49 per meal. And thanks so much to Everyplate for supporting the channel. As I mentioned, we are going to be starting out with the two ingredient mango mochi today from Senyai Grubs. And your two ingredients are mochiko rice flour and some ice cream. For whatever reason, I've always had in my head that mochi must be such a difficult food to create and master. It's so unique, after all, I remember seeing crazy giant mortar and pestle hammers back in the day going viral, at least that's the traditional way to be making this. But maybe we just came across a genius hack, because by the looks of this video, this takes a matter of minutes. Melting down your ice cream, mixing it with the rice flour, microwaving that a couple times, and mixing in between. It's as easy as that. And throughout this whole thing, this was smelling delicious, almost like a mango cake. And to my untrained eye, this kind of looks like mochi, especially with the uh, cornstarch powdered all over it at the end. I did not have the best of luck shaping it, but who really cares? This is just a proof of concept, so let's give it a shot. Definitely the ugliest, worst shaped mochi I've ever seen in my entire life. These would not fly in any Asian market. Uh, they smell really good though. Oh my God. They smell really good. <laughs> the texture is interesting, um, but they taste like this tastes like something that would have came out of my Easy Bake Oven in 2004. It is disgusting. The texture is so bizarre. Ugh. There's very little sweetness or mango flavor going on here. The exterior has a really weird, like, crusty dryness, which might make me think I overcooked them in the microwave. Maybe that's why they're not super, like, stretchy and nice, like his were in the video, but either way, these are... Pretty gross, so I cannot recommend. Next up on the mochi itinerary, we've got Joshua Weissman and his four ingredient mochi ice cream. You will need some sugar and cornstarch, a little bit of water, some mochiko, and then whatever kind of ice cream your heart desires. This was completely unintentional, but it's kind of the perfect progression from where we started. We doubled the ingredients, probably doubled or tripled the amount of work that we're gonna have to put into this. And it is Joshua Weissman after all, so we know it has at least a little bit of legitimacy. Unless we're talking about Krispy Kreme donuts, then that's something else. I started by portioning out my ice creams with this two ounce scooper. If you don't have one, I'm sure you could just use a big old tablespoon. 
and I stuck those back in the freezer to set for at least a couple hours while we worked on everything else. As you guys know, over the years there have been many ingredients and food items that just do not agree with me, and ice cream is one of those things because no matter how cold your house is, it's so fickle and difficult to work with, it gets soft and melty so quickly. So I really tried to keep that in mind throughout this, and anytime I wasn't using it, keeping it in the freezer, trying to touch the ice cream as little as possible, and even still, I ran into some issues, but we'll get to that in a minute or two. This mochi dough came together kind of similarly to the last one, which scared me a little bit, but I think the sugar and extra water will help. It already feels a hundred times better when I was rolling it out and cutting it up into my little three and a half inch circles. Now besides the working as quickly as possible with the ice cream advice, the only other thing I can highly recommend is using a ton of cornstarch. This thing was like Jake Paul and internet drama. It wanted to stick itself onto every possible item it could find. Whether that be my hands, or the rolling pin, or the cookie sheet, just make sure everything is dusted. Now finally, we have arrived to the point I was trying to merge the ice cream balls and the mochi circles, and well, to say this wasn't going well at first is an understatement. This was a goddamn mess. The mochi either wasn't wide enough and I was having trouble pinching the ends together and in the process of ripping other spots and having the ice cream leak out. Or if I had a drip of moisture on my fingers, it would want to stick to that more than itself and like crimp in together. So this was definitely a learning curve. I will say by my seventh and eighth mochi, I think I had the hand of it a little bit better. At the very least, I think I'm going to end up with something presentable, so I stuck these in the freezer overnight to completely solidify. And the next day, when I cracked open one of the chocolate ones, oh yes. Still not exactly something you'd expect to find in a store or a restaurant, but it's something a hell of a lot better than I thought I was going to end up with, so let's give them a taste. You know what? From where we started and potentially could have ended up, I'm not mad at this. Just ignore all the melted, leaking ice cream on the plate. I can now say I have made some mochi. Maybe not the best in the world, but it tastes and feels very similar to the mochi I've had in the past. Obviously the ice cream in there is delicious. I do like the width of the mochi that I got, but it kind of balled up a little bit on the bottom. I don't think too badly though. Let's try this other one that I haven't cut through yet. Mmm. This cannoli ice cream is delicious, by the way. Shout out Ben and Jerry's. Um, this is also really good. It's also a good width with the mochi. The only thing I don't love is how hard and frozen the crimped part stays. I think it's a little bit too thick and therefore remains harder and frozen longer, but overall, I can't be mad. And last today, we've got these adorable peach mochis from Mishi and Mr. He over on TikTok. And if you'd like to make them, you'll need some sugar and mochiko, some heavy cream and cornstarch, vanilla extract, some water, a whole bunch of peaches, butter, a lemon, and some red food dye. All right, peeps, it all comes down to this. This is the most technical and challenging recipe of the day by far. We gotta start by making a homemade peach jam, a hand whipped whipped cream, and then of course, a peach colored mochi dough that we will actually be cooking on the stovetop for once, which I am very intrigued by. This is all gonna take a couple of hours for sure, and I'm already running on fumes. It's actually day three of filming this video. Between the meals at the beginning and then waiting for the Joshua stuff to freeze overnight, it has been quite a process that you didn't see behind the scenes. But we are gonna keep powering on because I really want these things to come out good. And I realize this tangent is a little late, but I freaking love mochi. I've become obsessed with it recently. I buy it in my local Asian market basically every time I'm down there and inhale all of them in one sitting. And if you've never had them, the best way I can describe the texture is somewhere between a firm jello and an extremely soft marshmallow. And as far as the taste, that can range all over the place, but the one consistent thing is that they're usually not very sweet. Especially for the average American palate. When I first took a bite of one of these, I expected it to hit me in the face with sweetness, but they don't. They are very mild, very pleasant, once you know what to expect. Which is why I'm hoping these last ones come out perfect because they are so good and I'm really in the mood for them. I will say this mochi dough was looking pretty interesting throughout the majority of making it. When I first mixed it together, it kind of resembled a chewed bubble gum that was left in a hot car on a summer day. As you heat it up, you'll notice that a Pepto-Bismol gravy consistency will emerge. And then by the end, it was looking like a pink Play-Doh with human skin around the outside. So I might just be hallucinating after three straight days of cooking, but my imagination was running wild throughout this. 
But finally, our peach jam is done. Our whipped cream is ready. I divided my mochi dough up into eight equal segments and using my hand and a rolling pin, rolled them out into four inch rounds this time. And I wish I had done this one first because every bit of difficulty I had assembling Joshua's was addressed here. In the TikTok, they assemble this in a tiny bowl, which is genius. Obviously, it'll help maintain the shape. They show you how to crimp it together, almost like a dumpling, and then twist it and trim off the excess so you don't get a big mouthful of mochi dough at the bottom. Once they're filled, you flip them out into a cupcake paper, and then optionally, you can put the little indentation and a mint leaf to make them look like a peach. It's been a long journey throughout this one. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but from where we landed, I'm kind of thrilled, to be perfectly honest with you. These came out a lot better than I thought they would, so let's give them a shot. So I'm gonna drop my croissant. It's safe to say we are definitely holding the best looking mochi of the day. I love the little uh, peach additives, it's so cute. Mmm. The flavor on this is delicious. It's the classic peaches and whipped cream combination. It is so delicate and thin though. I'm not sure how long it would hold up. I feel like it's absorbing moisture from the whipped cream. And just a warning, if you don't have a whole lot of patience, uh, go into this one with caution. I've developed like hours worth of patience for stuff like this over the years, but if you don't have it, I can see you getting frustrated easily because these are very, uh, delicate and tough. With that being said, very worth it, very delicious. The added sweetness from the peach jam is amazing too. I'm gonna be using that stuff on so many other foods, I'm very excited. Uh, and definitely the best one of the day. I'm really happy with these guys. Miss She and Mr. He, thank you very much because you have came through again. Super lazy, try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me. Try and supersize my life with my A team. Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision.